Hey guys, welcome to our second Litco Tuesday. Today we will be talking about problem 1158 market analysis one, where we will be analyzing user purchases. I will show you two different approaches I came up with to solve this problem and you can decide which one you like better. Also, if you have any other idea how to solve it, maybe even more efficient, please comment below. So let's go. The problem difficulty is medium and our task is as follows. We're given three tables, users, orders, and items. For users, user ID is the primary key. This table has the info of the users of an online shopping website where users can sell and buy items. So user can be a buyer or it can be a seller. Orders table, order ID is the primary key, item ID is a foreign key to the items table, buyer ID and seller ID are foreign keys to the users table. So our user ID can be linked to buyer ID or seller ID in orders table. Very important piece of information for this task. And lastly, we have items table, Item ID is the primary key. Write a solution to find for each user the joint date and the number of orders they made as a buyer in 2019. Return the result table in an order. The result format is in the following example. And here is our desired output. So in other words, when I look at this task, we need to count orders made by users who are buyers, irrespective of when they joined, but the requirement is to report only orders placed in 2019 we can immediately notice that items table is not needed. We don't care about what users ordered. We just care about the number of their orders. So we can totally ignore this table. As a first solution and my preferred one, I will show you left join. We'll join users and orders table as we agreed we don't need items table. So let's focus on those two. Now, before we do anything, let's look at our desired output one more time. We need to show all users their join date and number of orders in 2019, whether they ordered something or not. We can see here some users with zero values, which means they didn't order anything in 2019. And this is really the tricky part of this task. Those users will be present in users table, but not in orders table when we filter it for 2019 orders. Because we want to display all users, we will perform left join on users table and as the right input, we'll insert orders table. For the join condition, we are interested in buyers, so the condition will be buyer ID from orders table equals user ID from users table and orders only placed in 2019. And that's our join criteria. By the way, you can see I usually begin my SQL queries from from clause instead of select I am leaving select blank intentionally and populating it at the end as it's easier for me this way. It helps me to identify the available columns for selection and define proper table aliases based on the join structure. So let's go to the output again and see what do we need to return in select. Buyer ID, join date and count of orders. Buyer ID will come from user table, join date will come from user table as well and order count will come from orders table. You can replace order ID by any field from orders table here, but order ID makes the most sense and we will obviously rename it as orders in 2019. And now once we have select, we can quickly define group by, which will consist of all of the columns that are not being aggregated in select statement. So user ID and join date. And that's it. Now, one common mistake that people do with this task is they insert date filtering in where clause. So they would enter your function for order date or order date between expression, which is essentially the same thing here. Why is this bad? This solution will not work as it will apply filtering to all of the lines from our from clause. So to our join output. It will remove the lines for users who are in users table but don't have corresponding records in orders table for 2019, which pretty much defeats the purpose of left join. That's why we need to specify this date filtering criteria in join as left join assures us that it will return all rows from users table no matter what. 
But if you really want to go this route and use date filtering in where statement, there is a way to do it. This brings me to our second solution, which is union. We can leave this join with where clause as it is and append it with another statement using union. We already agreed that this query will output the users that placed the orders at least once in 2019, but it will not return the ones that didn't. So the missing piece now is users that didn't place any orders in 2019. It's pretty simple query. Select user ID as buyer ID, join date and zero as orders in 2019. From users, where user ID not in, and now we will input subquery for all buyer IDs that place the order in 2019. So select distinct buyer ID from orders where order date between January 1st, 2019 and December 31st, 2019. So we are filtering everyone who purchased something in 2019 and leaving only the ones that didn't. And let's check the final result. That's perfect. You can see that this approach is less efficient than the first one, but still works beautifully. Okay, so that's it guys. These are my two solutions. Let me know what you think in the comment section and post any other ways to solve this. I will see you guys next Tuesday.